Okay, so my neighbor has found something. They actually killed it, and it's very dangerous. Has us on high alert now. This isn't. I, I just. I did not ever want to find this on this property. Uh, yeah, a little disturbing to me. I don't know about you guys, but I am not happy about this. This is. I guess it's part of living in the woods. But just stay tuned to find out what I'm talking about. You guys will see. And uh, yeah, I don't like it. All right, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so um, we got, his name's Greg. He's running his machine over here. That's a 110 horsepower um, skid steer Bobcat. It's not Bobcat, whatever the name brand it is, with a forestry mulcher on it. And he's clearing all the small underbrush for us. That way, when we do get our sheep and goats, wherever we decide to get, I, I really want to get the dorpers again. Dorpers actually thrive in this type of environment. If you do your research, they are like goats, pretty much. Um, they were bred for this type of environment where um, they can eat the leaves and the brush and you can still hay them out and whatever, you know, they're really, really good um, sheep. Um, so that's basically what I want to get. But he's doing all the underbrush um, and he's going to do as much as he can. I'm paying him for six hours of work because we run back and forth and, and all that. So we'll see what he gets done in six hours, which I think is going to be quite a bit um, because he's not trying to make pasture out of this. Um, but he's getting a lot done already. And it's looking really good. So um, I'll show you progress throughout this video on what he's done. I don't want to get too close to this. Now, this is actually... Pretty much the exact same thing I ran for the state for 10 years. Um, if I was able to rent one of these for a weekend, I could clear a lot. But you can see what he's already got. So it's all real thick like this. I'm just having getting all the underbrush you can. All this stuff right here, I'm sure he'll come back and get, but all this little stuff, I just want it gone. And then, um, Eventually, we'll get all this piled up into piles. And this will all be clear, and we can see the animals running and stuff out here. You'd be surprised what you can get done in six hours of work on one of those machines, uh, especially on this little bit of uh, what I got going on. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, something you guys probably did not know about me because I never really talk about it is that I do not sleep very well at all. Ever since I got out of the Marine Corps, if I get four hours of sleep, um, a night that is a good night's sleep for me and I do not like taking medication I've tried a bunch over the years and I just don't like the way they make me feel um, when I take them and um, when I wake up the next day usually you're just you're drowsy you're just not yourself the whole day so I kind of just deal with I, I deal with the sleepless nights the sleepless nights so what I've been using for the last several weeks now is dream I got two flavors here we got the cinnamon cocoa and we got the mint chip honestly this one right here is my favorite. So what's cool about it is within 10 to 15 minutes of me personally taking this, um, I just mix it up in a glass of milk. It actually came with um, what they, a little frother, a little frother, um, it came with that. And um, literally within 10 to 15 minutes after me, after me taking this, I'm ready to go to bed. And I'm falling asleep faster and sleeping longer. So yes, I'm getting more sleep, but the main thing for me is not feeling like that the next day. I feel way better. So Dream is a drink blend filled with the highest quality of sleep um, promoting ingredients. It has been clinically proven to improve your sleep. If you guys want to fall asleep faster and sleep longer without taking a bunch of medication, I think Dream is going to be for you guys. Um, you can click my links down below and use my discount code DUTCH. You're going to save 35% on your first order. I love showing you guys products that they give a big discount like that. And also, they do have a subscription um, plan that you guys can click. You think you're going to get like 20% off um, whenever you do that, and it's free shipping. You can cancel anytime, and you get a free frother like i got you guys see me using it in the video it works pretty good i think you guys like that so you get a free gift and you're going to get the gift of sleep so like i said if you guys are interested links down below description box pin comment and qr code use my discount code to save you some money Let's well i didn't get to film much of his work he's finishing up a little spot over kind of by the house um but he did an awesome job out here this is exactly what i wanted um and he he knew what i was wanting and that's what he did he's got this whole five acres within about five hours 
pretty much all the underbrush he can get um, looks pretty good. Look at that. So it all looked like this. You know, you guys know what it looks like. It's really thick. And I said, I want all the little stuff gone. Look at that. Is that not awesome? Now this is exactly what I was wanting for when we get the animals. They can, we can see them. And we, well, grass will start growing up in here. I could seed it. It is a little rocky in spots, obviously. A lot rocky in some spots. Um, but yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what I was wanting. I'm really excited about this, guys. So he has opened it up. Big time. Look at this. All this stuff will eventually rot and go into the ground and make dirt. Here's the water line. Let's check the water. Oh, a little rusty. There we go. Look at that. And I wanted him to leave like the back third pretty much untouched. So whenever it does leaf up, we won't be seeing anyone driving around back on that back dirt road. We'll have we'll still have privacy looking this way. Isn't that cool? So I'm very pleased with what he did. And um, I'll have to have him come back in the future for some other spots too. Um, he's got the actual forestry mulcher, like I talked about earlier. It's what I ran for 10 years at the state. You can do a lot of clearing in a pretty short amount of time. Look at this. Look how this just opened up. Before you can even walk through this without getting ticks everywhere. So I'm sure there's still ticks there, obviously, but I mean, you couldn't even walk through it because it's so thick. Yep, I like it. I think you did a great job. Okay, when he gets done clearing up there, he's got about 40 minutes left or so of working out here and he'll be done. And um, I'll show you guys, show you guys the rest of it. Yeah, this is awesome. This has got me excited. I need to go buy the fencing material so I can get my fence up and we'll be ready for the animals. That's the thing too. Now we can actually see the coyote sneaking around the perimeter on this five acres. You know it? And whatever animals we decide to get will help keep help maintain this property cleared. Um, because if you don't keep it clear, keep goats or sheep on here, um, it will grow back in a couple of years. They'll start sprouting up. You know, when people, when, you, when I say sheep, people will think of sheep just as pasture animals. That's just not the case with the Dorper haired sheep. So if you guys are interested in getting animals you know, on the fence of goat and sheep, just do some research on Dorpers. Probably going to be surprised. Looks good. As soon as I get a grapple on my bucket, or as soon as I get a grapple for my bobcat, I can start making big burn piles um, and we can really get this place looking nice. Just takes time.
Okay, so um, what day is it? Easter. It's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to all you guys. I like to call it Happy Resurrection Day. Um, hope you wanted to come down here and check the hog trap with me. Um, so we're going to go down and check it. But first, got to go to the creek and get um, a camera to take over there. And I'm gonna, regardless if we got something or not, I'm still going to put a camera up there just so we can see what kind of activity we got. And um, then we're going to go back to the house. You guys already seen um, some of the work that was done on the house. Um, there's part of it that I didn't show you guys. So we're going to go back to the house and uh, do some stuff up there after we check this trap. So wish us luck. On a, I want to hope I want one we can eat. Yeah. I don't know if you're on board with that or not, but you said if it's a little one, what are we going to do with it? <laughs> we're going to, sorry. Do you like my clip? Yes. You look beautiful today. So we're going to go down here and get the camera and then go back over there and check the hog trap that you guys probably, if you watched last video, you've seen us set, me and Hadley. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I thought I seen something's head pop up right over here. Go, you go up there, babe. Yeah. Or if Mr. Otter's been bad. So we never reset that trap yet. And that camera was a bust. So I'm going to have to check the batteries on it um, before we go set it. I got batteries in the truck. Hope I forgot to bring some with me. But I don't see Mr. Otter. Just a little eye. I'm not even Where at? Right, right there. Right <laughs> in front of me. Under I mean, phone. you might have. Oh, oh. I thought I just seen something right there. We get that camera? Yeah. You just take it off. I did. I thought I seen something. Oh, there's bigger fish. Hope there's big fish in there. I don't know if I can see it on camera. Where? Well, right underneath there. They just went right underneath the. It's probably what he's see him? jumping up. Right, you see them right underneath the little cliff? No. I bet we could catch those. Dang. They look like little bass. I see one of them still. I caught on camera some of it. I thought I seen something swim right there. It was a big old fish. I say big, it's not that big. Well, it's big to be in a creek. Yeah, it's big to be down here in the creek for sure. Yeah. Some of the, probably the big ones I've seen. They went up underneath them rocks. Let me get the camera. So Mr. Otter has not got those ones yet. I'm kind of just looking here. All right, let's get this. You getting the camera, babe? Yeah. All right, let's go. We got to watch out for snakes because... Uh, they are out now and uh, when we get back to the house i'm going to tell you guys i'll tell you guys what my neighbor found over on his place whenever we were mowing or whenever he was having the guy mow for him yesterday um yeah pretty alarming oh yeah you got your dress on from church don't you yeah. <laughs> we didn't have time to change or she didn't we just uh i think i heard something run up there we just came down here to the creek real quick to check stuff and we're going back to the house anyway. Like so. so our batteries did die on us, so we got to change the batteries out. We need eight double A. Yep, get us eight of them. Get this. Go ahead and just get this fixed before we go there, where the hogs hopefully are at. Get this changed out and ready to go. Oops. That's how it says. See the little arrow? See how that's the battery? Uh, yep. Push it down. Push like this. Yeah. Mm. Same. Gosh. Watch your finger. If we'll go in. That's right. Put it how you had it, and I'll push it down. Okay. Like this. Yeah, push it. There's a little spring. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nope. Just how the, see how the battery is? That's a battery. Uh, see it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's get these in and then we'll go do we'll go hook it up. Nope, do it like this. Oh, oh yeah. That way you could push the spring. Like that. Oh, watch yeah. watch oh, it go for oh. a second. All the way down. Yep, like that. Grab this camera. Watch out for snakes. Okay, the one that we just did. So. We have no hog in here, but something has already eaten all the corn, but not in the middle. I you can see. Well, something, probably a raccoon or something been eat, ate all the corn right there, but all this is still good. So we'll jump a little bit more. Watch out for snakes out here. We're gonna dump a little bit more right here in the entrance. And we're gonna put our camera up right there and we'll go ahead and see if it's the raccoons eating this or did we get some hogs in here, but they just didn't push it. See, they should be able to push that easily. We're not over here. And I was really hoping we'd get some, get a hog out here already, but uh, we didn't. Can I scoop the 
corn with the shovel? shovel? I think it, go find the shovel. Here, go find the shovel, and I'll put this up. Let me go find the shovel to scoop the corn out. It's flashing red. I think it just took a picture of me. It probably did. I got it working. Okay. Okay. We're good out there. Okay, I wanted to bring I wanted to bring you guys out here just to check this for the first time because um, you guys watch us set it and all that. You know, I already have people asking me if we caught anything yet. No, we haven't. Um, so next time, I probably won't show you guys this for a while unless we catch something. Um, because coming out here, we'll try to make it quick as possible. When we're recording stuff, it takes a little bit longer. Um, so if there's nothing out here next time, I just probably won't show you guys. Um, but if you got questions, you guys can always ask me in the comment section. I'll try to answer it. All right, you want to get a scoop and put it over there? Sure. Oh, gosh. What? Whew. Ew, what happened to it? <laughs> it stinks, don't it? <laughs> here, hold that. Why does it turn that color? There's bugs and stuff. It smells like beer. on my hand. Mm. Come here. What happened to it? Put some more right here. Okay. Woo. Ew. You want me to do it so you don't get on your sandals? No, it's okay. It's right there in the, in the corner. Yeah. Yep. Put a little bit more in that corner over there. Yep, and then we'll call that good. It smells nice and ripe now, don't it? All right. I'll put a little bit more. A little bit more. Right. Okay. You can put that back on the ranger. I don't remember this being bent. Do you? No. That's weird. I wonder if a deer got hung up in this somehow and bent that. I do not remember that being bent like that at all. It, no, it's broken too. Yeah, something got hung up in there for sure. Probably a deer trying to jump over. You know? Got his leg stuck. Yeah, it could have been, or a hog. A hog would do this too. Yeah, a hog would jump over. But that looks like it's been bent for a little while. Yeah. I don't know though. That's weird. Or it might have been there, but we didn't see it. No, because these were new. These were new cattle yeah. panels. That was definitely not bent last time. Something got hung up there getting out of it. Could have been a deer. Hogs can jump over that too. They can climb and jump. They're pretty crazy, um, but who knows? Over to get in? Yeah, usually they won't, they won't do that though, usually. Um, but okay, we're gonna go back to the house. I'm gonna show you some more stuff that he got done. And we're gonna talk about uh, what my neighbor found at his property, which is only about 300 yards away from us. That is pretty alarming to me. And um, yeah, we'll go back. Let's see, what's Gunner barking at? Gunner is barking at something like crazy over here. Let's walk over here and see where it is. Yeah, he's just over there barking, barking, barking. This is a little weird. Let's see if we see where it is. Oh, the chickens. Gunner, what are you barking at, boy? What are you barking at? Huh? So Gunner can actually see a lot better out there. And he is. See, look. What is it, Gunner? So what is it, guys? What is it, Gunner? You two don't seem to too alarmed do you is it gunner what are you barking at huh? <laughs> what are you barking at well we got an audience we got us a little audience you guys well if it's a cody he's barking at and you guys are going to be easy pickings you would be, be easy pickings free range you got all this to free range now why you just want me to feed you all the time don't just feel like crazy. So one of you guys emailed me. I can't remember the name. Sorry for, I forgot your name. Emailed me and told me to try the um, no mess barrel feeders. 
and and I've I've made those before in the past. I don't I just don't have one here. I think I'm gonna get one. Um, so I think that will save us some feed. I think you're right. Thanks for emailing me that. So, whoa, yeah, they're hungry again. They're going through so much feed, it's nuts. I want them to free range more. They free range every day, but I mean, you can tell when they're hungry and they're not getting enough bugs. Y'all ain't getting enough bugs, are you? Not enough bugs. Okay, so you guys won't believe this. It's got me on high alert to what my neighbor had found and they killed it. They found a pygmy rattlesnake at the neighbor's house um, right over here. So I'm gonna walk over there and see if it's still there or um, if a bird or something got it. But yes, 100%, they had killed a pygmy rattler. We have not, we have yet to see a copperhead here or a pygmy rattler snake. Now at the creek property, there's abundance of them, right? Um, but over here, I have not seen them in three years. I have not seen any, any um, venomous snakes out here. I always knew more than likely there's probably gonna be copperheads out here, but the timbers, the little pig, or is it, I say timber rattler, it could be a pig, like a little pygmy rattler. Just didn't think they'd be up here, but they are. Let's walk over there and see if it's still there. Okay, it was right over here. It was right here after um, the guy mowing had ran it over. But it looks like to me either Kevin has moved it or the dogs got it, or a bird picked it up, but it's not here now. Dang it. So it wasn't a very big, um, big one, so that means there's bigger ones here, right? Where's the mom, where's the dad at? Um, so they found it when he was mowing, when Greg was mowing, he actually uh, moved like a big log, maybe something like that. And, and he ended up running it over and smashing it. Um, and then me and Kevin are messing with it. I came back over here to see what was going, like the progress. Kevin said, hey, I think I find, I think he ran over a um, little pygmy rattler and it was identical to the one that we found at the creek property um, when we had the um, father-son camping trip. And I'm like, oh gosh, I did not know those were over here. Um, not really that surprising, but that's got me on a little bit of a high alert now. Um, now that we actually confirmed <laughs> a pygmy rattler in the general area of where we're living, right? So now we have to be, we got scorpions out here. We got the rattlesnakes out here. It's just, it's a little wild. It's like, seems like it's one thing after another. But how do you think things are safe? Danger lurking around the corner here on the homestead. It's nuts. So I'm going to say if we just started rolling over logs and making a search, we'd probably find one. I would say probably pretty good chance of finding one through here. Where's my camera? Still nothing in the trap. So um, I'm going to do a little test. Probably the next couple nights, I'm going to put the dogs up. Um, at nighttime until early morning just to see if anything will come back because right now all I'm getting on camera is my German Shepherds running back and forth chasing coyotes and probably the wild hogs so we want to try to catch a wild hog it's good that they're chasing them off but it puts them in danger too especially with the coyotes um, the coyotes will run in packs obviously they will lure a dog out German Shepherd out and then the pack will attack and kill I actually happened to one of my buddy's coyotes years ago pretty sad deal um, they're smart so we need to keep them at bay. So we might try that little test here next few nights. Let's see what we get on camera again. Okay, so I had him clear this. It's right next to the house pretty much where I can see through here and I can see the little tiny cabin. He got all this cleared up. I'm not sure what that plastic bag is, but before I need to pick it up. That's all I have. But he cleared out this little area for us. And then I can get this all piled up and get that burnt too, or whatever you want to do. Come on, ladies, come over here. You guys could scratch around out here, see if we see any dead snakes or anything. But you can see just how good this mulcher does, or forestry attachment. I know the chickens were coming in here and laying eggs and stuff at one time. Once we get this cleared up, this adds to the yard, kind of. Huh? So that's what he got done. So he probably did three and a half acreage over there and left the other one third that we didn't want to touch. Got that all done. They got this little spot done about six hours. 
and um, I'm super pleased with them. I'll probably have them back eventually once we get um, our fences up and figure out what else we want to do. But yeah, those mul those forestry mulchers work awesome. So um, with all that being said, we'll keep you guys informed. Now that I got that down, now I can get the fencing material and start working on the fence to get our pen because we want to get animals. We're going to be getting some pigs again soon, and I think we're going to be using the electric fence um, for that project. We'll see. I'll, get, I'll keep you guys updated on what we're doing. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Oh, like I said, high alert, alarming situation here on the homestead when it comes to those pygmy rattlers. Those things are no joke to be messing around with. And um, yeah, so we're going to have to keep on alert and just keep the girls, you know, let them know, hey, just if you're moving stuff, just be careful. Other than the scorpions, now we got the venomous snakes out here that have always been here. We just haven't seen them, obviously, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you guys need help sleeping, don't forget I'll have links down below in the pinned comment and description box. If you guys want to try Dream, the stuff I've been using for several weeks now, working really good. So that being said, love you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.